Hey guys, Bossman Leonard here, and today we'll be reviewing the War for Cybertron trilogy, Earthrise Starscream. Now this is a new figure, but this is one of the figures I have, and it's not a bad figure. And... Except for that. For that bullshit. 45 bucks. So the jet, jet mode is sleek. Oh, please, please stay still. The jet mode is sleek. Nice, beautiful. Very little kibble, which is really nice. You don't really see a jet mode this clean in Transformers figures. I'm going to have to raise the camera up a little bit. No, no. Okay, okay that one doesn't want to stay. Um, come on, please don't beat. Mm. Sorry, this is a new display. So the sleek jet mode is nice and sleek. Mm. You don't actually see a jet mode as clean as this. Even today, for today's standards, this is a really clean. Um, you can take off the no rays. Set this aside for now. And you just get that nice, clean, sleek profile. Uh, when I first saw the pictures, uh, and reviews, I saw these gaps right here. Well, not these gaps, but these huge drop-offs. That those worried me. But now that I actually have the figure in hand, it's not that bad. The only real instance of kibble is, um, shins, the entire chest, and the back of the head. Um, at first I remember fiddling with this thinking it was in a landing gear, which was really embarrassing. Um, it does not come off to my knowledge. Um, and you're just stuck with this. If you don't like this, there's nothing you can do. Um, the painting and sculpting of this figure is awesome. You got a lot of panel lining on this figure. Um, now, with a panel lining pen or Gundam, someone could easily do the panel lining themselves. I'm not, because I suck at it. But you got nice panelizing, nice sense of depth. Everything here is solid, feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna come loose anytime soon. Um, as far that's the, those are the only two accessories, and it's technically parts for me. Um, so for comparison, here he is with Studio Series. Um, Voyager Starscream. He is a Voyager class. And these look great by side by side. I love the design of the movie Starscream. He's glory, he's grace, he's a Dorito from outer space. And here we have him with Siege Hotlink. Again, very nice figure. They do look, eh, they don't look bad side by side, but if I had the Siege Starscream, he would look better. And now for transformation. So I'm actually looking for royalty-free music to um, put in my transformation segments because I don't want to talk during it. I will talk when needed, but basically, if you have any calming, preferably of the rock and heavy metal genre, please send a link in the comments below.
Now, um, this, I don't have the original instruction that this figure came with. I probably do. But there is a little tab right in there. And there's this little slot that's right in there. I don't, I don't know well how well the camera can see it. Yeah, I can see it. So what you want to do is you want to kind of work that slot in its place. Um, it'll give you a lot tighter fit when you put the leg back in to place. Oh, I won't. Oh, there we go. It's a little difficult, but it gets easier over time. How did you get this side? I'm sorry about the shadow. Um, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I the light is in the middle, so I can't do anything. And here we have his robot mode, and this is a great robot mode. Um, it's very nice. Um, everything holds together. Nothing is gonna come loose unless you want it to. It is a very solid figure. Um, it's pretty much everything you need in a Starscream figure. Um, getting close in on that head sculpt. Um, I'm not sure how well it comes out, but he does have two red eyes, and his face is painted silver. Well, not really silver, more or less a gunmetal gray. Um, his whole head is painted black, which is unfortunate. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is great. It's just it could have used a little bit more durable paint. Because as you if you look closely, like especially this area, if they were gonna have this, I would rather this have been molded in red plastic instead of painted. You got gunmetal gray here, you got the translucent cockpit, which is not this isn't a faux cockpit. You got more paint chipping here. Um there's little hints of paint chipping here. These are also painted in gunmetal gray, and there's more paint apps right here. These are painted blue. Um, these arms are molded in blue plastic, and for the most part, is they match pretty well. Um, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint. Swivel here. He can look up this far, look down that far. His arm moves out that much. Bend at the elbow here, wrist moves up for transformation, biceps, shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, nothing at the waist due to the way he transforms, front skirt moves out, leg can move that far forward, which is not actually a lot, he has a lot of different transformers that can top this, can move back that far. Decent bend at the knee, and the knee, every joint on here feels solid. And a pivot. Oh, and there's a hinge here, and a hinge here. Now, why, while posability is fairly limited, it ain't bad. And I'm not mad. It's just enough to pull off famous Starscream poses, and... For his price of $45, he is less than I paid for. Well, I do love this figure all to, for my um, entire life. He is great. I do love him. Starscream has always been one of my favorite characters. It's just a shame of the paint shipping. I wish they would have went for a more durable paint. He's solid. He stands up fine. No need for a stand, not that you can actually get one. Really, the only instance is this butt flap that I don't really like. It limits posability. This cockpit kibble. Not that bad. I don't, I don't, I don't care. It's, I wish it tabbed in. They could have made it lock. That's really the paint chipping and the cockpit are the only issues. Um, now for final size comparisons before he gets his 
rating. For comparison, here is Studio Series um, Voyager Starstream, who's actually a lot bigger and wide than Earthrise Starscream. He's glory, he's grace, he's a Dorito from outer space. Here he is next to War for Cybertron, Siege, Voyager Hotlink. I got him because he was a seeker. He looks very good side by side with Starscream. I do not rec uh, regret this purchase. If you happen to see Hotlink at, on Amazon, pick him up. I will have a link to him in the description. I will also have a link to Starscream in the description, as well as Studio Series Starscream. And now for his glorious review. Two energon cubes. He receives two out of three energon cubes. Not for the Bat Kibble. The Bat Kibble is completely understandable. They had to make compromises, especially with the figure with such a smooth, simple, yet intuitive transformation. He is such a great figure. The only real issue holding him back is that goddamn paint chipping. It's the only issue I have. Um, I could probably paint it myself, but I am probably going to fuck it up some way. Uh, I am garbage. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, signing out. Like a hell cut.